picture is just like this. Now, if I move, you're going to stay with me, aren't you? Yep. Okay, so the pressure becomes down slightly. He'll want to go up, but then I'm going to lift my elbow. So what happens, he goes up against the air. And then I'm going to lift my elbow and do a corkscrew punch. So it goes like this. Okay, now you block if you think you can. Can't block it, no. Okay. Now, look, anytime we do th things like this, realize there are, it's a single unit. And in martial arts, we always think the single unit wins. But, you know, boom, he gets hit. He might hit me with the other hand. I might have to do other stuff. Okay? But that's something we tend not to deal with, unfortunately, because we're trying to teach this skill so we don't deal with follow-ups. One of the things we need to do, um, and we'll do this, I hope, next time, is to talk about to make it almost impossible for him to follow up. And if he follows up, it's easy for us to follow up. Now, I could do the sa exact same thing. But I'm not going to do that because you already developed that skill. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this hand go on top, and I'm going to turn this heel, and I'm going to put weight on it. OK? Don't hit it. You're going to want to hit it. OK, I tell you what, do this just to, to, so they can see it more. So step back. Step in and do a gut shot. Up straight. Yeah, that's a, super unlikely, but this way you'll be able to see it. So he hit me rather than my hitting him. Oh, that hurts. I hit with this hand, I'm going to do an elbow up. He now hits with the other hand, and I do a hook over the top. You may augment your hand motions with your hips. Don't do this. Uh, uh. It's not a karate ball. It's a beep, beep, go. As, as Arthur so astutely remembered, uh, this combination was done, I think, he thinks it's the uh, third Ike Fest with Don Ashland. Ajay. Ashland, yeah. Pretty sure. Um, I know it was Don Ajay that taught me this uh, initially. Um, and it was so similar to stuff that Joe Cowles did. I went, it's got to be great. Mm. Okay, so anyway. One. So I just shifted my weight. Uh huh. And went from here to here. Okay. One and two. Now, if you want to follow up and you really feel skilled, you can go like this, one and, oh no, you can go like this, one and two. Okay. One and two. I'm running your elbow, which is not the end of the world, it's just that, I use soft rather than move. Yeah, right. I may take one thing and ignore the other, or I might take both. So I could do this and ignore this. I could take this and ignore this. But there's a point at which you'll run into something, and you can't ignore it. So you might have to go one, two, two, three, three, four and use your hands in a more creative way. You see it? You're still doing your one-twos. Nothing new. OK? And then you can, of course, switch, and it's the same type of shtick. OK? Have a wonderful time.